What's up, everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Sun Squared Uranus and the Sinistry Chart. So this is for anybody that has this, anybody that knows somebody that has this with somebody else. Okay, this could go for all different types of relationships, um, committed relationships, um, casually dating, um, casual encounters, secret love affairs, um, as well as people that you dated before, um, people that you were married to before, people that you're married to now. Okay, so I really wanted to do this one. Um, I actually have this with my husband, and I also have this with one of my exes, okay? Um, so this was interesting for me to do today, so I'm going to break it down. So we already know that sun, the sign um, is linked to the sun, is Leo, Okay, and it does roll over the fifth house in the natal birth chart. So when we think about the sun and we think about the fifth house, the fifth house in general has a lot to deal with um, enjoying life, having fun, taking chances, gambling, casually dating, um, not a committed relationship, casual encounters, um, children as well. So this is more of a fun house when you're speaking about the house. But when you're speaking about the sun, it's something that you're identifying yourself to. With this particular placement being linked up with Uranus, okay, which would be linked up with the 11th house, okay, this is about um, networking with people, but this is also about um, friendship, aspirations, okay, hopes and wishes and things like that. The square is definitely going to indicate there's a conflict um, in between these planets, okay? It's, it's difficult um, at times and things like that. Um, but we're going to break this down. So let's jump into this. So there is little conventionality between you. Together, you enjoy being different and unique. So this will be the kind of couple that could be very eccentric. Um, thinking outside the box, their discussions, the things that they discuss and talk about. Um, they can even be great hosts, okay, when they're doing something, okay. Um, maybe they're event planners. Maybe they like to... Um, travel together. You see what I'm saying? Um, be around each other a lot. Okay, they really value friendship. Okay, so your relationship style is far from being traditional. And if you are a couple, you might agree on an open relationship. Okay, so an open relationship, in my experience, is a motherfucking no-go. Okay, so, but this is what could happen with this. Okay, some people could feel like, you know what? Um, we can see other people, but we're still in a relationship, okay? Some people with this might see somebody else, okay, and still be in a relationship, but you didn't never say the shit was open. See what I'm saying? Could go so many different ways. It's crazy. Um, however, in all reality, it's nothing going to be traditional about the relationship. Everything is unconventional. The way that they move as a couple and everything, okay? This could be the type of couple that um, ride or die for each other. Okay, um, now you would think in a sense that's very traditional, which it is, right? Mm -hmm. But these could be the type of people that um, what people ask is together. You know what I'm saying? It's a fight and somebody got stabbed and, you know, in the fight and things like that. They're really holding each other down like that. Okay, so friendship is a very important factor for this relationship. They have to be friends. So when they meet each other, they are going to um, probably meet through friends. That can definitely happen um, at a barbecue, you know, um, you with your friends, they with their friends, y'all at the store, y'all start talking, you know. So you seek out excitement and have common interest in anything. So a lot of the things that um, both of these people like individually happens to be the same things that they want to probably do with each other. So it can appear like these people are on the same page, okay? Um, wanting to go out and have a good time, um, wanting to go to a club, wanting to go to a party, um, wanting to go to a, a venture park, okay? Wanting to go to the club, to the bar, to a barbecue. They like to do the same kind of things. Um, and they do um, like to open up to each other and discuss quite a few um, quite a few things with one another. So you like changes and anything that is spontaneous. 
So now in this, the sun person gives direction and clarity to the Uranus person's unstable life. Okay, so in this one, sun squared Uranus and synastry, um, we already know Uranus is all over the place and things happen in a second's notice when we're dealing with it. So the Uranus person can um, appear to be more unstable than the sun person, okay, in this pair. At times, the sun person feels insecure by Uranus person's unpredictability. And if it's a romantic relationship, Uranus person's focus is on friends, okay? So, this will be the type of person, um, the Uranus person will be a people person. Um, to some degree, they may even be a people pleaser, okay? But they do value friendship and they value their own friends outside of the relationship that they built with you, even though they could consider you their friend, okay? Um, this can hurt the son's person's um, feelings a little bit sometimes um, if they're not being included into things, okay? Um, if they're being included to things and then they decided they don't want to do it, that's a whole nother story, Okay, so there is nothing predictable or stable about your interaction. Okay, so these are the kind of people that can got together very quickly. Okay, um, and they can also break up very quickly. Okay, without um, even knowing that it, that's what it's hitting for. Something strange and unusual could just jump off and the relationship is fucking done and over. Okay, um, could this be the um, on again, off again relationship? Definitely, it could be on again, off again. It can be um, on and completely off. It could be on and then you're still sleeping with the person, still having sex with the person, still fucking them, okay? But you don't want any more relationship from them. It's all different kinds of scenarios to this. So your relationship probably began in a sudden or surprising manner, but it might also end just as suddenly. You have come together to explore new and perhaps unconventional ways of relating not for predictable not for predictability or anything that has to deal with being stable or traditional partnerships okay so they come together in this lifetime to do things um strange and unusual these could definitely be the type of people that um would fuck anywhere okay um outside by the lake um in a bar, in a club, at a park, okay, on top of a hood of a car. <laughs> they would do all of these different types of things because they feel free and they want to be liberated in a relationship. I mean, if you can't play around in your relationship, what the hell are you in it for? So Uranus is a bringer of change into the sun's person's life and challenges the sun person to accept his or her desire for freedom and individuality. So the sun person may find the Uranus person extremely attractive and exciting, but might eventually grow tired of the seemingly constant upsets, rebellious moments and movements of their attitudes. In some cases, the circumstances surrounding the partnership are such that you are separated at key moments long distance relationships and other non-traditional relationships which can undermine the relationship over time this could also be the type of relationship where um one of the partners leaves the other partner okay um for a period of time let's say three days three weeks and things like that okay um if you do that you might not um end the relationship completely okay but oh god something fell on me you might not end the relationship completely but over a course of time, if you keep that shit up, the relationship is probably going to be over, okay? Nobody wants to feel abandoned and left alone, okay? No matter how much of um, liberation that they're feeling in this damn relationship, no. Um, but there is some level of freedom that is very much presented here, okay? Um, they want to be free to, to be who they are, okay? So this could definitely be the type of couple that... Um, gets together and they love you for who you are, okay? They love you because you are a friend to them, okay? Um, just going back to something, um, it could be something really unique about the couple. This couple could be a couple that really does look good together, okay? Look like they were made for each other. Or if it's not the looks, 
it could definitely be their attitude, the way that they move, the way that they communicate, the way that they, um, uh, um, what's that word? <laughs> Just pick up on each other's vibe, okay? But they are here to experience something different, okay? So, um, they are going to be rule breakers to some degree. I'm rebellious also when it comes to certain things. Um, anything that has to do with politics, they can love to talk about those kind of things, have little debates and go back and forth off of that. Just shit that happens in life. How the world is going today. Those could be exciting conversations for them. Okay, um, definitely they will be drawn to each other when it comes to their minds. Because we know Uranus is about the higher mind anyway. So yeah, these are like higher mind people coming together. And doing things a different kind of way, in an unconventional way, not a traditional way. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on the snow for now. In future videos to come, I'll go more into depth into Sun, Squared, Uranus, and Sinistry. Um, if anybody wants a chart to be analyzed, please hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. And thank you for everybody that's been tuning in and subscribing, liking, and hitting the bell every single time. So this is the Force of Nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you in the next one.